Good morning, amazing people. We are here on Sunday morning. This is The Experimental Show. And I'm here narrating through it. This is Jacob. You saw Michelle there. Uh, We're jumping right into it. It's a little strange talking uh, just to myself here. But I think it's pretty cool. And I'll tell you why during this video for sure. But you can see me drawing up the mushroom. This is going to be a mushroom attempt. That uh, There's been two different new mushrooms that we've designed in the shop. And this is kind of going to be the second style. These might not go on the website. These might all be one of a kinders. They're a little bit difficult to keep symmetrical and keep the same way. But uh, this was an attempt with Michelle. And it's nice It's nice designing things with Michelle because I can get her input. And she lets me know kind of uh, other pieces we've done in the past and how it compares and whatnot. So... A really fun time on these experimental shows. Another thing you saw me whistling there for a second is we got the music playing right now. So this is cool doing the voiceover because you guys are going to get a little bit of a taste of what it's like uh, blowing production during the day when we've got the music going and we're cracking jokes and hanging out. We're still talking technical with each other, especially for the experimental show because Michelle doesn't really know what I'm planning on doing. But... uh, there's a little more room for less explanation. I can give it to you now and I can focus and I can dance a little bit, I guess, to the uh, to the music while we're doing it. But uh, what's going down here is we're blowing out a bubble. This is a long tube and there's another product coming down the pipeline here. Uh, it's gonna be a really cool cactus ring holder and we're doing the same tech here. I'm testing it out. Eventually, I'm gonna actually switch it up and not use this type of tech. Um, and do something a little different that looks even more like Rudy and mycelium, like like they're growing into the ground. But I basically gathered, it's called a lap gather, right over just the very end of the bubble. And while that glass is still super hot, if I wasn't using all recycle for the experimentation show, I could give it one good dip in a color, maybe a size one or two, so there's enough color on there. But uh, I pulled it out and gave it, that's gonna be the base of the mushroom. The extra thickness from being attached to the bubble is the perfect spot to punty it up. So once I get it flattened out here, Michelle's gonna gonna grab a punty and we're gonna flip it back around. There was two different styles I wanted to do and I think uh, we're gonna be experimenting with the second one later on, but I know I'm experimenting with it right now in the shop and I think we're gonna be putting them on a live show. So this is kinda, this was the first step and then I had kind of a breakthrough during production the other day where I dropped a bubble on top instead of uh, what you're going to see Michelle drop solid piece onto the Marver and it looks ridiculous. So that's what the experimental show is about. Um, The first steps, testing it out here, we're going to break it off. I did the around the back, which doesn't come out often. That's kind of a Ren Faire special and Michelle looked at me and shook her head and was like, really? But that was just kind of the zone we were in. The music was playing and it was a good time and we had to do something fancy. So there you go. But uh, here comes Michelle with the solid cap. Uh, The recycled glass is really dark right now. You saw that in her pieces from the previous week. But she does a really nice job using the big shears here. Uh, Normally she likes to get her own shears out. She didn't today. Um, So she cut a really nice patty. I recentered that. The punny was a little hot. And this was a really cool move. I like how this turned out. The cap was a little too small, and when it's thick glass, that's gonna be a, a pretty big, substantial weight on top of the mushroom. So that was my first kind of like, mm, maybe this doesn't work. But the butter knife was sticking a little bit there on the last one too. I'd use a different tool if we were to start putting these into production. But in a second here, I'm gonna hold it up, and the top's cool. We'd have to figure out some kind of color pattern on it, but look at the bottom and the fins. And uh, I forget what that's called, where all the little uh, spores drop out of. Looks really cool. So have a beautiful weekend, you guys.